U.S. tariffs on imported vehicles and auto parts would cause a significant global economic fallout, analysts at Moody's Investors Service said in a note Monday. The levies could disrupt about $500 billion of trade flows and hurt the global economy by distorting prices and creating inefficiencies. The impact would reverberate across global supply chains, the Moody's analysts said. The already weakening pace of global expansion would magnify global growth pressures, causing a broader hit to business and consumer confidence amid tightening financial conditions, related, bullish investors, too sanguine, about U.S.-China trade talks, warns fund manager carmakers would be the most affected, with the would-be tariffs directly chipping away at their profits, the Moody's analyst said. Following the implementation of the tariffs, automakers would need to absorb the increased costs to protect sales volumes, pass the tariff costs to customers or suppliers, or implement a combination of approaches to mitigate the impact on their profitability, they said. See also, Commerce Department. Submits auto tariff recommendation to Trump, but details not disclosed. The Commerce Department has yet to make public its report on the tariff's potential impact, but last week a German economic think tank released its own report, listing consequences such value-added losses around 8 billion euros, 9 billion dollars, for Japan's auto industry of around 7 billion euros for Germany's, among other results. Read more, study finds Japanese, German imports would get slammed by new auto tariffs in the note Monday, the Moody's analyst said that a credit negative impact would be especially pronounced Japanese, Korean, Mexican and German manufacturers would be the most vulnerable. Chinese automakers would be largely unaffected due to their minimal exposure to the U.S. market, the Moody's analyst said. Vehicles imported into the U.S come primarily from Japan, Germany, and Korea. First Trust Nasdaq Global Auto CARZ, 0.53% exchange-traded fund has lost 21% in the past 12 months, contrasting with gains around 2% for the S.